Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we will discuss the integrated rate equation for third order reaction. So let's see what is meant by third order reaction. So, so a reaction is of third order when the rate of reaction is directly proportional to the cube of concentration of one reactant or to the concentration raised to power unity of three different reactants. But third and higher order reactions are quite rare because the probability of collision between three molecules having sufficient energy is very low in comparison to bimolecular collisions. Hence let's take a simple third order reaction. A plus B plus C gives products. So the rate of disappearing of the reactant A can be written as minus RA is equal to K into C A C B C C. But if all the reactants that is reactant A, reactant B and reactant C have the same concentration, that means C A 0 is equal to C B 0, which is also equal to C C 0. The rate equation can be written as minus R A is equal to K into C A Q. Now let's derive the integrated rate equation for third order reaction. If the third order reaction is thrice A gives product or A plus B plus C gives products where the concentration of all three reactants is the same then the rate of disappearance of a given by the rate equation as minus R A is equal to K C A C B C C as the initial concentration of reactants is the same hence we can written rate equation as minus R A is equal to K C A Q which can also be written as minus DCA by DT is equal to KCAQ. Now let's integrate this equation 1 within the limit. When T is equal to 0, CA is equal to CA0. And when T is equal to T, CA is equal to CA. So first rearrange the term of equation 1 for integration we get. Minus DCA by CA cube is equal to KDT. So after integration and applying the limit we get. After rearranging the terms we get. 1 by 2 into. 1 by C A square minus 1 by C A 0 square. Is equal to K T. This is the integrated rate equation for third order reaction in terms of concentration. Now let's derive the integrated rate equation for third order reaction in terms of conversion. If the third order reaction is thrice a gives product or a plus b plus c gives products where the concentration of all three reactants is the same then the rate of disappearance of a given by the rate equation as minus r a is equal to k c a c b c c as the initial concentration of reactants is same hence we can write as minus r a is equal to k c a q which can also written as but as we know, concentration in terms of conversion as CA is equal to CA0 into 1 minus XA, which can be written as CA is equal to CA0 minus CA0 into XA. If we differentiate it, we get DCA is equal to minus CA0 DXA. Now let's put values of CA and DCA from equations 2 and 3 in equation 1, so we get so after rearranging the term we get. Now let's integrate equation 4 within the limit. When t is equal to 0. xa is equal to 0. And when t is equal to t. xa is equal to xa. For integration, first we rearrange the terms of equation 4. So we get. dxa by 1 minus xa cube is equal to kca0 square dt. So after integration and applying limit we get after rearranging the term we get 1 by 2 into 1 minus x a raised to minus 2 is equal to kca0 square t. This is the integrated rate equation for third order reaction in terms of conversion. Hence we get the integrated rate equation for third order reaction in terms of concentration as 1 by 2 into 
1 by c a square minus 1 by c a 0 square is equal to kt and the integrated rate equation for the third order reaction in terms of conversion as 1 by 2 into 1 minus x a raised to minus 2 is equal to kc a 0 square t so that's all about the integrated rate equation of third order reaction so keep watching in the next video we will discuss another topic integrated rate equation of zero order reaction first order reaction second order reaction one by one link of the video given in description box so if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel which is chemical edda